All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to build out the first quadrant of the unit circle. Now, this is the most important quadrant that I need you to remember. So that's why we're going to dedicate a whole video on it. Um, after this video, you're going to see we're going to have some practice on it, but you need to know this first quadrant. I do not um, want you to try to think you need to memorize the whole unit circle just focus on this first quadrant. Now, in the previous video, we talked about building up special right triangles, and some students were familiar with it, some students are not, but that's okay, um, because really what you need to understand is we are going to build out this first quadrant here on the xy axis. And also, we're gonna take those special right triangles, so if you remember, we looked at the 45, 45, 90 triangle, and then the 30, 60, 90 triangle. But rather than just building out any relationship for sides of any length, we want to focus on when the hypotenuse is going to equal to 1. And if you remember, on a 45, 45, 90 triangle, the two legs are going to be the same. To go from leg to hypotenuse, you would multiply by square root of 2. To go from hypotenuse to leg, what you're going to do is divide by the square root of 2. So if I wanted to identify what the legs are, I know the hypotenuse is 1. I'm going to do 1 divided by the square root of 2. Now you can leave the answer there, but you're going to notice in many textbooks and throughout your teacher and your notes, we're never going to leave it like this. We're going to rationalize the denominator. So to go ahead and rationalize the denominator, I'll multiply by the square root of 2 on the top and the bottom, and then I'm going to get a final answer here of square root of 2 over 2. So that's going to be that leg, and since these legs are exactly the same, this one is going to be square root of 2 as well. Now let's go ahead and just do a quick little review again of the 30, 60, 90, and build that out for when my hypotenuse is also going to be 1. So if we have a 30, 60, 90 that looks like this, this would be my 60 degree angle, and this would be my 30 degree angle. Now, what I'm trying to make sure I can read or show you is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Remember, that's an isosceles right triangle. These two legs are exactly the same. When we're looking at a 30, 60, 90 triangle, we kind of refer to the two legs as like the short leg and the long leg. So the short leg is always between 60 and 90 degrees. The relationship of the hypotenuse, again, we want to build out when it's 1, the relationship of the hypotenuse to the short leg is just half, and the relationship from the short leg to the long leg is going to be times square root of 3. So therefore, I'm going to get this side is going to be square root of 3, comma 2. So again, the long leg is between 9 degrees and 30 degrees. All right, so let's go ahead and build out this first quadrant. Now, we're going to do this with a, a couple different ways, all right? And since my radius is going to, or since my hypotenuse for these right triangles is going to be 1, um, what we're going to do is we can actually create a circle about this. So if I go ahead and draw a nice big x-axis or xy-axis here, let's go ahead and take one of these triangles. Let's do the 45, 45, 90 triangle, and let's go and position it right here. And then I'll do a nice little perpendicular line to the x-axis, and we know that's going to be there. Now, again, we know that this distance from the angle, right, of 45 degrees to the 90 degree is square root of 2 over 2. And then over here, this y-axis is also going to be a square root of 2 over 2. Now, since this is on a xy-axis, we can also think about this point here would be a coordinate point. And so that coordinate point for this is, remember coordinate points is how far are you going on the x-axis from the origin to how far you're going up. And this coordinate point would be a square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. Now, we can do that with the 45, 45, 90 triangle. We can also do this with the 30, 60, 90. So let's go and draw it again going through there. And now if I take this triangle, now in this case, I could do the 60 exactly where it's at. Um, but I'm actually going to reposition this, so I'm going to orientate this triangle, and I'm actually going to flip it around, and I'm going to make it look like this. So we'll have this triangle go over here, and again, remember the hypotenuse is 1. This is so important. I mentioned it before, but I actually want to get to it here in a second. So if this is going to be 1, we know that this is going to be my 30 degrees, that would be my 60, and this would be my 90. So what's the distance here from here to here? That's going to be square root of 3 over 2. The distance from my 90 to my 60 degree, which would be here, which is going to be a 1 half. And therefore, you can see, again, as a coordinate point, we would have the square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. 
And again, so we have two triangles. Now, again, we can also re rewrite this. And you can think about here is just rewriting this now with this short leg over here. So if I rewrite it with my short leg over here, or the short leg along the x-axis, then I know that this, again, is going to be 60 degrees. Now, typically, though, I don't want, yeah, we'll, we'll do it. We'll, that'll be all right. Actually, that's a really bad drawing. So let's go and fix that. Um, so if I was going to do 60 degrees, we'll put it maybe like there. So there's my right triangle. So now this represents 60 degrees, right? And then this would be square root of three over two, comma one half. We have a hypotenuse of one. So this coordinate point is going to be a one half, comma, square root of three over two. So if we kind of look at all of this, if we look at all these triangles together, we're gonna to have some kind of picture that's gonna look something like this. You're gonna have here, we're going to have here, and then we're going to have here. Now, I already mentioned the unit circle, or a circle, and I didn't really mean to actually do that because um, I wanted to actually use this diagram for you guys to see. And, but again, it doesn't really matter. You might already know that it's making a unit circle or you know the, about the unit circle. These are all going to create a unit circle. But I want you to see as I draw these triangles, we figured out this coordinate point, we figured out this coordinate point, we figured out that coordinate point, right? And then if you were to say like, what's the distance from the origin on the Y axis up one, we'd say, we know, well, we know that point. And then you could say that point. And what I just want you to see is that beautiful curve that we are creating. And again, yes, just like any circle, ladies and gentlemen, we can go ahead and reflect this about the X and the Y axis, as well as the origin, to create our beautiful circle. Now, again, we're not focused on the rest of the circle. All I simply want you to understand is that this is going to be just our first quadrant of the unit circle. So this is, again, what you're going to need to remember, as well as know these angles. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply just going to fill this in. And then we're going to have some practice that I have for you um, down the links below for you to go ahead and practice making sure that you can remember these points as well as the angles that are associated with them. So in this case, we have this first, or uh, we have we have this first angle, which is going to be one comma zero. We have this line right here, which represents an angle of thirty degrees. That's going to be square root of three over two comma one half. Let's just fix the two. We have this point right here, which is representing of an angle of 45 degrees. And that coordinate point is square root of two over two comma square root of two over two. We have this line or this point, which represents an angle here of 60 degrees. And that point is going to be a one half comma square root of three over two. And then last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we have this one, which represents an angle for 90 degrees. And that coordinate point is going to be zero comma one. So 30, 45, 60, 90 degrees. And then I also need you to understand the relationship that they have with those coordinate points. Ladies and gentlemen, you're never going to forget these. So go ahead and get started on the practice. And then in the next video, we're going to work on building out the rest of the quadrants. I'll see you there.